Gods Must Be Crazy is a 1980 South African comedy directed by Jamie Hughes? Wees? I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. The plot of the film focuses on three sets of main characters. Andrew Stein, a scientist played by Marius Weyers, Kate Thompson played by Sandra Prinsloo, Lou Verwe as Sam Boga, guerrilla terrorist, and then the Bushman Key played by... Again, I'm not even going to pronounce that. The majority of the film focuses on Marius Weyers and Sandra Prinsloo as Marius tries to transport Sandra across the Kalahari to her new teaching job and coming across a variety of goofy scenarios. We of course cut back and forth from Sam Boga and Key as Sam Boga goes about trying to assassinate the Prime Minister and Key tries to destroy a bottle. Focusing on the Key character for a minute, when a glass bottle falls from an airplane, Key believes to be a gift from the gods, but because it's the only thing of its kind in the village, all of his family members and friends start fighting over it, so Key takes it upon himself to destroy the thing which he now believes to be evil. As he goes to the end of the world to destroy the coke bottle, he bums into Marius Wires and Sandra Prinsloo, as well as Sam Boga, and hilarity ensues. It's really hard to describe why I think this movie is so good. I mean, there are several things to like in this movie. It's funny, for one. When it was released in the United States back in 1985, Roger Ebert said that it was a simple comedy in comparison to the bigger, action-packed comedies of the time, such as the Blues Brothers. And I agree, the movie is more old-style slapstick. The action in the film is really well shot and entertaining. In fact, it's on par with what Hollywood's style of action comedy. Now that I think about it, I kind of want to hear BJ Emmy narrate over some of this. All the characters are very memorable and funny, but the guy who steals the show is, of course, Key the Bushman. This was apparently his first acting role, but his charisma carries on screen. Even though I praise this film, there are certain aspects about the movie that can kind of pull you out. There are very noticeable jump cuts now and again, and the dubbing is kind of wonky. Hello, Andrew. But it's still a great, great film. I find it really difficult to say why I like this movie, so instead I'm going to leave you with this scene from the trailer. I think it speaks multitudes more than I ever could. I'm the Cinema Fanatic. I'll see you next time. And as for the edge of the earth, a sense of wonder, a touch of magic. The gods must be crazy. An epic comedy of absurd proportions.